Hello everybody, it's the Duty Paid here today and I'm going to talk to you about soldering irons and if you see the title, I'm going to be doing a review of one. Now, soldering. One of my first jobs was soldering and I soldered for about two and a half years and, uh, you know, five days a week, 52 weeks a year. Well, no, I had time off. And I use a lovely Weller soldering iron and uh, sort of, I'm doing missing that soldering iron, I must admit. Should have taken took it when they made me redundant but unless I'm not I have been making Dune um, since then well a number of these actually with a sort of cheap generic um, made you know soldering iron with a soldering stand that wasn't even sort of made for it and you had to sort of jam it in here and then when you you had to sort of rest it and it wasn't a very nice affair so what I did was went online and found RS components. Well, I didn't find RS components, they were always there. And I obviously knew of them beforehand. And I got myself a 9002095. Now I did print out a spec sheet, which is incredibly small. So unless you've got 4K, and which video isn't in 4K, um, I'm going to read a little bit. Anyway, it's the RS Pro soldering station, 220 volt, plus 200 degrees to 480 degrees centigrade. This is the RS stock number 900, 900, 9092095. There we go. And this is the RS Pro, um, low cost input voltage, output voltage 28 volt, Power consumption 60 watt, temperature range 200 to 480, temperature um, stability <laughs> um, plus to minus one, earth independence of welding tip is two ohms, um, set the temperature apparently, probably a bit. Features, um, extra storage area, space saving, converter, cooling fan, Long lifespan, heats quickly, comfortable grip, flame retardant shell, anti-static, easy to clean services, safe and durable, UK Succo plug type F, or EU Succo plug type F, and the UK plug adapter type G. So, a little bit sort of Chinese uh, change here. What I like about this one is it does come with a tip, and I did buy an extra tip, but the tips are freely available which a lot of model soldering irons you see can be um you know cheap as chips to all the way up to sort of a few hundred pounds but you can't get the different tips now a tip will last you an awful long time especially if you only light soldering you know when i was soldering two and a half years i had the same i went for about two tips i think and that was near on every day well this was 31 pounds um, before the VAT, which is £34.60, uh, if I do the maths, at 20%. But the extra tips you can get is a 0.2mm um, conical shape, a 0.8mm conical, um, a 2mm 45 degree conical bevel soldering iron tip, a 1.2mm conical chisel, and a 3.2mm conical chisel ship tip which is more like a sort of large screwdriver. So if you're doing a lot of tinning or wires, especially fat. So it comes in this little box. Let's open this up. And what do we have in here? It's kind of a bit dark, yeah. Let me clear some space. So we have instruction manuals to use a soldering iron. Let's have a quick peek at these. Zip the bag. Always worth keeping the sold instruction manuals for things. I won't ever read them, but so soldering nine in French, uh, English operation steps: dampen the cleaning sponge with water and place it on the soldering nine support. So dampen the sponge, plug it in. And there's a screwdriver. This will pick it up. So uh, what's that? Three pages 
and uh, two. Oh, is there more? No, three, four, three pages of instructions. So instructions seem to be in all the languages. Ah, oh, English on the front. So what's that? Spanish? Yes, the Spanish. Uh, what else we got? That looks like some uh, G E. Not Dutch. F R French I T Italians. There you go, all your flavours of the European continent out there. Okay. So let's put them down. Just check the time because I only get 20 minutes recorded with this video. Now let's have a look. If I move this somewhere. How about just off the camera? There you go. The first thing up. I did buy an extra solder and iron tip, but it comes with, it looks like to me a point, uh, what would it be? Point 0.8 mil solder and iron tip, which is pretty useful for everything. You know, you can get down the fine work if you're doing the through hole components or even like surface mount and stuff. So the solder and iron, comes in plastic bag. There we go. Ah. So let's have a look at solder and iron. Well, it's a nice slim line one. Certainly lighter than the other one. If we do a quick comparison. Let's get the old electronic scales out. Grams. About 48 grams. I've got the cable off there, so... Uh, we do the same with the other one. So unscientifically about 10 grams lighter, which is not much, much for the solder and iron. So let's have a look. So this is a nice solder and iron tip. Uses the um, sort of Weller style clamp where you take off this thing and then you have the uh, heating element coming right out into the tip. Looks like a sort of ceramic heating element. And then you have this outer jacket and that will uh, go down and tighten up. And then it has a uh, five pin plug. I don't really think it's five pins, but there you go. So, uh, what else have we got in here? Ah, so this is the... Uh, plug adapter. See, I'm tempted to just wire... rewire this for a UK plug. So that takes the... Uh, sort of European style plug. What's that protected by? 13 amp. So that goes in there and then you conk that down onto the uh, outer shell. It makes it a bit more user friendly because the whole of Europe uses one plug and then you come to England and we just use our own plug. But I'm never a fan of European plugs. They were always a bit dodge, very similar to sort of American sort of style. I've been in American hotel rooms and things are just falling out of the room. So they give you a sponge which you have to dampen which doesn't fit in the solder and iron stand. Yeah, okay. Well, it will do when it's wet and moist, but I think it could have shaped that a little bit. Uh, picking up on the camera? Um, sort of, yeah, only disappointing. Oh, it's got a nice plastic back. Plastic feels a uh, good quality, certainly not flimsy. So, I uh, don't think those feet are that flat. 
a little rock in there. I like the centre one's a bit too high. It shouldn't really matter that much. Does this come out nice and easy? Centres nicely, so you haven't got the hot iron resting on the plastic. So it seems to be resting just on this outer collar. Yes, quite pleased with that. Not pleased with those bits. There you go. And now the uh, main of it. A bit weighty, so uh, oh, that's the sort of European plug. I quite like these nowadays. Quite nice design. You have this um, recess sort of earth terminal, and when the whole plug is recessed, don't see too many of these. But see, our plugs are quite good because the earth pin is ever so slightly longer. So when you put this in, there will be little shutters that lift over for the line of neutral. So, uh, and then these are shielded underneath. So even if you like sort of fist handed and you, you know, pull out a plug, it can't come out of the socket. And in theory, that should protect you. But majority of times, even with sort of, sort of when you get your fingers under, if you got your fin fingers underneath that much, then the plug is just removed. It sort of only really makes, but I suppose if you've got wet hands and you're not properly caring for anything. So this base unit, let's have a look here. Looks like we've got a little fan on the back. I won't be plugging this in today because it's just a rudimentary look. Probably make another video of how it works. So let's have a look. QE passed. Nice uh, switch here be nice if this attached to here in some respects so you lifted up the unit you lifted up the whole thing you know just just a little mountain peg could have gone in there here's quite useful obviously you can put maybe a component that you solder in or desolder braid there or something similar temper control uh, That's a bit odd. You've got this double cut through here. So turning it all the way to the left, and that's 200 Fahrenheit. 392, wait a minute. There you go, 200 centigrade. Could have done without Fahrenheit scale, but I guess it's a multi-sold thing. That's weird. We uh, have this tiny little screwdriver. This for the plug. Whoops. Oh, it fits the plug. The only thing I can think of, you wouldn't really want to take your base apart. Oh, God. Also, it's plastic. It must be for the plug. No screws under here, Prob or probably underneath the feet. But no maintenance screws. So there's the five pin plug for the solder iron. And here be the uh, you know maximum well solder let's see, centigrade three hundreds here. Solder melts about three twenty. Leaded um unleaded melts slightly higher, yeah slightly higher temperature and then you can bump this all the way up to uh, you know 480 480 would be handy if you got like a big old fat um, cable we want to put into a big old you know real pot into a clamp you want to melt solder just all the time and you're heating up a large expanse but for day-to-day -day solder in there um, I'm not too happy that this knobs just cut through so here, what am I at? 480 or 
just past 300, you know. Oh no, look, there I'm at. Turn it back round. It could have just ended that midway point and you'd been laughing. But I have nice volume knobs actually. I could uh, change that out. So, uh, that's about it. That will go on to here. So, uh, not sure I'm that happy with secondary plugs into plugs connections. I'm sure this is approved. What does it say in there? No bare wires, only to be with a CE7 Shoco plugs. Shoco plugs. Power connectors. Oh, it's kite marked. If it's kite marked, you know it's going to be good. So that's fused. That isn't. That's a big drawback. European stuff not fused. I've seen one of these before. I've seen the sort of slim, slim line ones. They use for the kind of almost like look like sort of shaver plugs. But this has obviously an earth connection, which will handle the antistatic things. So base unit feels quite sturdy and good weight to it as well. You know, it's not. Oh, you can uh, see the weight of it. Just wait for the weight. Picking up, yeah. So with without power connector. So not coming out. So what's that? Um, one thousand three hundred and twenty-five grams. So one point three kilos. And for our American friends, two pounds fourteen ounces. There we go. So two pounds ish. Two pounds fourteen ounces or one point three kilograms. So that's a quick overview, unboxing. I have yet to plug it in and turn it on. <laughs> Basically cheap soldering irons um work. But that, I think I paid something like sort of almost about £25 from Maplin's, maybe even a bit more. And it will do the job. If you're just starting out soldering, that will do the job. You want to avoid um, the little flimsy soldering stands they have where it just, because these fall off. And if you're soldering on anything and this gets hot, remember to always hold a soldering iron by a plastic. I've seen people start soldering and they hold it like a pencil, like that. And you don't realise until you smell uh, lunch or barbecue. So, just to round it up. Okay, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm Judy Paid. I hope you have a good time. Take care and goodbye.